Hello warriors, I've been sick for a week and I'm feeling much better. I need to move this body. And so I thought, why not do a little something together? I thought we should do a little energetic colonic. Sounds sexy because it is. Think of it almost as a, an energetic menstrual cycle as well. That flushing of just all that toxic stuff that's held in the pelvic floor. So much stuff in the pelvic floor. And that's really where I'm feeling it today. So I thought, why don't we just flush a little together here? And if you want this class in a, in a bigger version, more extended version, more detailed version, then you can always go to patreon.com slash movement classes and get it there. Let's get this energetic colonic going. We're gonna ground our feet into the floor, feeling the groundingness. Immediately I can feel almost like a third leg <laughs> coming from my tailbone and my uh, perineum almost. So it's kind of starting here, coming through my perineum and then grounding right to the floor so it's nice and solid. <sighs> Ooh, and that gets that whole center area, my whole pelvic floor going. I like to touch, so let's do a little touch because that's kind of reinforcing I am here, I am present, this is my safe touch, my hands, my body, and I get to do that because it's mine. Ha! Okay, moving it around, making a little pressure, a little massage in the belly, in the pubic floor as my feet are grounding, as my tripod leg is centering me and then we're going to start to add just a little bounce but the focus is definitely right in that pubis area i like to think of it as the third eye of my pelvic floor just like the third eye kind of floats in the center of my head there's that third eye that floats in the center of my pubis and that connects to my tripod leg and so it goes down let's go let let the voice come out Oh, so you notice there's a bounce that's starting to open up and release my throat chakra, which is very connected to my root and my sacral. Oh, it's an expansion and electricity of energy that comes out. Oh, detoxifying the body because a lot of sickness gets stuck in our torso, in our intestines in our livers, in our kidneys, in our organs, in our muscles. Oh, so the more that you can ground, the more bass sound you can let out, the more bounce you can have, the more electricity can happen through the earth, the better. Let's go. Oh, good, take an inhale. Lift through the pubis, lift through the pubis, lift that muscle and then let it ground, oh, drop the belly, let that belly fall, oh, let that pubis get heavy, let those knees sink into the floor, let the breath sink, oh, and then again, rise, lift the pubis, energetically lift all that stuff and let it flow, and then when you exhale, ground it and flush it right through the pubis, Again, for men, you might be flushing through the anus, you might be flushing through the scrotum, for women through the vagina, or maybe it's just an electricity that's going down your legs right into the earth. But it is coming out of the body. Again, lift, inhale. Float, 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 feel the lightness. Lift through the pubis, lift it, tuck in the belly button, and then rise it up to the top of the head. And then when you're ready, one big flush. Oh. You can add a little bounces to it. Let's do two more of those. Add the little movements. There's nuances to this. It's not just up and down. It's not just A to Z, but there's all those letters in between. Remember, it's a dance of energy. It's a flow of breath. Oh, nothing is stiff, but everything moves and changes. One final flush. Oh. Good, now get down on those hands and knees, shake it out there, and go ahead and find a little ball shape. Now let the lower belly just hang right between the legs. And again, your little ball shape might look very different than mine, and that's perfectly okay. You can set your forehead on your hands if you want, and I want you to find that same bounce that we found before. And you are compressing the hip flexors, you're relaxing the lower back, letting that tailbone fall towards your heels. 
You're letting that belly drop and you're letting that pubis just open up like a beautiful budding flower. Keep making the sound because we want that throat chakra open because they are so closely related, right? So if you're not expressing yourself through words, through sound, letting that energy out, it will get stuck in the pubis. That's why expression authenticity is so important because it gets stuck in the body and becomes toxic. Doesn't let you live an authentic, beautiful, happy life. Good, just two more bounces, two more breaths of bounces. And then slowly let it fall, let it melt into the floor. Keep the little sensations of all that electricity in your body. Maybe feeling the floor. Focus on sensations. Don't get stuck in the thoughts. Stay with the body. That's the secret, you guys. What am I doing? What am I feeling? What am I touching? What am I feeling in my hip flexors? If it's a little pain, it's okay. Just let it be there. Be with it. Ugh. The way that we deal with pain and struggle is by observing it and learning from it and learning tools to manage it. We don't want to ignore it. We don't want to pretend it's not there. Good. And if it becomes a little bit too much, it's okay to come out of it, to go back into it, right? To relieve it and then go back into the sensation again. So we're also working with compassion and patience. Breath and movement, sensations and awareness. All of it is beautiful. All of it is you. All of it is life force energy moving through you. Good, now let's decompress slowly, opening up the hips. However that happens in your body, if it's coming up on your knees, if it's coming on all fours, and then finding an opening even further. Maybe uh, it's stretching through the hip flexors in an up dog. Or maybe you're finding a reclined shape where the hips are open. So I'm showing you a bunch of different ways you can go, or maybe you're finding your own constructive movement and shape. Whew. And yes, let out that beautiful big, whoo, high, whoo, free sound. Good, we're almost there. Now, just a little rock back and forth through that foundational root chakra. That energetic colonic, just letting it flow. Not holding, not tensing, not forcing. Oh. Yes, good, finding that little arch in your lower back, being a little sloppy with it. If you need to hold yourself with your hands, that's okay. If the movement needs to be a smaller, that's okay. If this needs to come in a different shape, maybe it's in an all fours, that's okay. So wherever you find it. Close your eyes, just rock it out, rock it out, rock it out. Oh. Good, beautiful. And finally, we're gonna find ourselves on our back, oh, knees to your chest, so it's that same shape we found when we were reversed, but now on our back. Just moving those knees around, massaging that lower back, letting that whole pelvic floor just be free. Letting the breath be free. Letting the lower belly relax, feeling the body just, uh, <laughs> that's what it feels like. Uh, releasing itself of all the tension, all the worry, all the sound, all the stress, and just being with whatever's happening in this body of yours. It's so beautiful and available to you at all times. It's such an incredible tool. <sighs> Thanks for joining me. If you like this kind of practice, I offer a lot of this beautiful kind of stuff on patreon.com slash movement classes. It's a really, really good platform, and you'd also be supporting the movement. So I appreciate you. I love you. And if you like this, share this, leave a comment, press a like, tell me what's up. Love you guys. Have a beautiful day.